Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we're addressing this error code. One of our customers experienced this error code on their installation of Microsoft Office 2016. And during our troubleshooting, we have found that other people have also experienced this issue. In this video, we're gonna cover the troubleshooting methods that we covered to fix this. And so if you're experiencing this issue, by the end of this video, your installation of Office should be back to normal functioning. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're going to start with a very easy bypass solution that in most cases will bypass this error code. So I'll go to my office applications here and I can pick any one that I want to run. I already have Word open. So let me use Excel for this example. If I right click on Excel, we're going to see a lot of options that come up here. The one we're looking for is run as administrator. The reason we're doing this is because this particular error code is related to permissions. There's something wrong with the permissions. And so we can sort of bypass that by running as administrator. We'll select yes on the pop-up and you should be back inside of your desired application at this point. However, we are not gonna stop here. There are other troubleshooting methods, including a permanent fix that we're gonna take a look at next. All right, guys, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our settings here in Windows and we're gonna check for malware or viruses because this could, in some cases, be the culprit or cause some interference with our Office applications and our overall PC performance. So in here, let's go to System. Once we're in Settings, let's go to Privacy and Security. We're gonna to go to Windows Security at the very top, and we're gonna open Windows Security. Now, once we're here, we're gonna to go to Virus and Threat Protection, and we're gonna run a quick scan. We could also click Scan Options, and we could also run a full scan if we'd like to. In my case, I'm just gonna run a quick scan and it's gonna quickly scan our system and it will let you know if something malicious is found. Now on that note, if you have a third party antivirus software, we would recommend temporarily during that to see if that resolves your issue as that can cause some conflicts with Microsoft Office. Here we can see that there are no recent actions. So my scan was complete and there's nothing to worry about. Let's go back into Windows settings this particular fix is actually what fixed the problem for our client. And this is in system. And then we're gonna to go to recovery. And here we're looking for the option go back. In my case, this is not available, but in a lot of cases, you will be able to go back to a previous installation of Windows. Meaning if there was a recent update, you can revert back to that other update. Now in my case, since this option is not available, my only option would be to do a clean installation of Windows and update it using a specific installation image file. And that would probably just be the update before this. Or for example, it could be the 23H2 update for Windows 11. So again, this is what fixed our issue for our client. Let's move on to a few additional steps that we can try. For this next one, let's go ahead and open our command prompt and run as administrator. Let's select yes. And in here, we're gonna start with the command sfc slash scan now. This is going to search our computer for any corrupted files and attempt to repair them as well. We'll come back once this is done as this will take a little bit. Okay, so that is 100% complete. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, which is a good sign. Let's move on to a few additional commands we can try. For this one, we're going to use the DISM commands. This is DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image slash check health. Okay, it's telling us that the component store is repairable. Let's run the next command now, which is DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image. This time we're gonna enter scan health. Let's see what happens. We're gonna let this load and we'll see what it tells us. All right, and then we have one final command to run. That's online cleanup image again. And then this one is restore health. So let's go ahead and enter that. All right, guys, so while we let this load, we're gonna move on to our final troubleshooting tip for today. And that is going to be account settings. So I'm gonna type in accounts. And we see that option come up for add, edit, or remove other users on this device. Let's press enter on that. So it's gonna bring us to this other users tab. I'm gonna click back and just go to accounts. Again, we can also go to system settings and click accounts. And we're gonna scroll down here until we see emails and accounts. What we're looking for here is a duplicate of the same email. For example, I saw this email twice. That would signify an issue and I would need to go down here, manage, 
and I would want to remove that account from this setting. We may also see other accounts under other users. So again, look for a duplicate email. If you see it, remove it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any suggestions of your own, we'd love to know what those are. And lastly, a like and subscribe goes a long way in supporting our channel and would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.